Director Steve Kurtenbach, producer Kevin Cedargren, associate producers Al Broughton, Sam Abramson, Dave Holtzman, and John Harvey. Seeing if the Royals can rally in the bottom of the ninth inning, they'll have to do it against Diego Castillo, who is 16 out of 21 in save opportunities, but all he can do is blow a save because it's a four-run game. And as HUD said, the Royals are just trying to get it to Salvador Perez. Isbell, and then it looks like O'Hearn is going to bat for Alberto. Merrifield, Lopez, and then Perez. Castillo, he, he's a hard thrower, but he likes his slider a lot. Heavy sinker ball pitcher. Isbell is one for three. One of his outs was a line out to right. Starter Chris Flexen gave up one run in five and two thirds. And the Mariners bullpen has allowed one run. And Isbell takes a fastball over the inside edge. Smith, Steckenrider, and Sewell have gotten the game to the ninth inning. Popped up, and Crawford calls off Toro, one away. And it will be Ryan O'Hearn. Boston has taken a half game lead for the top spot in the wild card race. The Yankees at the moment have the second spot. Toronto just a couple of days ago had the top spot. They were beaten by Minnesota. And then the A's and the Mariners. It's going to be a dogfight all the way to the end. Last game of the season. The Mariners were surging when the Royals faced them last. O'Hearn takes high. I remember Seattle was coming off a six and two road trip and they were coming home with a lot of momentum big crowds. They had won 10 of their last 13. But the Royals took three out of four. One ball one strike and it took Seattle winning in the final game of the series to avoid a sweep. Seattle was just two and a half back. Of a wild card spot when. They began that series with the Royals. Yeah, you know, you just you never know what team comes to town, where they're from, where they are on the standings. Well, you heard the, 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 the day before they uh, in Oakland when Seattle was in Oakland and they had a good series there against the A's. And I watched, I was watching their post-game show, and they were talking about padding their record against the Royals. And I was thinking to myself, you guys are in for a, a shock because we're playing good baseball right now. We're not the same team that. The numbers say in the standings. Two and two. That was a good trip for the Royals because they had gone to Wrigley Field and shut out the Cubs. They did lose two out of three in Houston and then won three out of four in Seattle. Yeah, you weren't very happy about that. I remember you, for a moment, I would have thought you were on the active roster because well, you were ready to fight somebody <laughs> when you heard that. Well, you know, I was like, I wanted to call and say, Guys, look, you guys are in for a, a battle. It's not going to pad your record. You know, those are bulletin board stuff. That's you know. exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah. Do they even have bulletin board material anymore? I don't think so, because it's all on your phone now. So you, know, you don't have to read a newspaper article, cut it out, and put it on the bulletin board like we did in our day. Now it's smartphone material. Yeah, right. <laughs>
Three and two on O'Hearn with one out. And he'll be on with a walk. Wondering where that power fastball is from Castillo. Haven't seen it. A lot of sliders. Fastball for a strike to Witt. He is one for four with a run scored. There's a fastball. One ball, one strike. Well hit right center field Hanniger goes back and that's going to be over his head and it'll bounce over the wall for a double so that saves a run O'Hearn would have scored. And the tying run Salvador Perez is on deck. Pepsi please. He got the fastball right where he wanted. Excellent swing there. Drive the ball deep to opposite field there. That will get Salvi to the plate. You know, line into a double play somewhere. A lot of sliders, just a few fastballs. Most of Castillo's save opportunities this year have come with Tampa Bay. That's where he started the year. He is two out of five since joining Seattle. And a pop up. And it's going to be Seeger making the play. So now the tying run is Benintendi on deck, but Salvi gets a chance to come to the plate. Now he's trying to get the game to Benintendi on deck. Salvi made the last out of the seventh inning. Coming up with runners at second and third and two down. Paul Sewell, the right-hander, came out of the bullpen to get him. Pitcher cannot create his own save opportunity, even though the tying run is on deck right now. Way outside, one ball and no strikes. Salvi decided when that ball came out of Castillo's hand that it was going to be hittable. Um, I don't think they're going to give him too him nothing good to hit here, but you can see he's just a ton of sliders, not even close.
Castillo looks like he is laboring out there. Yeah. It's not that warm an evening. He's sweating. It was 14 out of 16 and save opportunities for Tampa Bay. One ball, two strikes, and was moved. Wasn't it interesting this year how many late inning high leverage relievers on contending teams were moved in trades yeah, this year? It was, was an unusual trade year for sure, and big name guys. Salvi swinging at some pitches that aren't even close to the strike zone. Grounded left side. Seeger will glove it. And Seattle takes game one of this series 6 2. So Castillo gets the last three outs, working around a walk and a double. We'll be right back. <laughs> 